From a throwback Easter egg to GTA Vice City, tons of new wildlife, and even a creep on the beach. Today, y'all, we have 75 major and minor details in the GTA 6 trailer that I know you missed. When you learn something new from this video, I hope that I could earn your thumbs up and your subscription. I'll wait. Thank y'all so much, and let's get started. Starting off by taking a look at the official GTA 6 concept art featuring Jason and Lucia. If you take a closer look at Lucia's ankle, you can see that she's actually wearing an ankle monitor or an ankle bracelet. And as we know, Lucia does start out GTA 6 in prison. That actually brings us to scene one of the GTA 6 trailer, where in the background we can see the WTVY tower. This is actually the tallest tower in the state of Florida in real life it's what this is based on and you can bet that I'm going to climb all the way to the top to jump off of that thing the next thing we can see is the prison in the background which is very neat because that is where the next scene takes place I also just want to say in this first scene it's kind of interesting that there's an airplane in the sky the whole background is pink there's a boat palm trees and the city skyline that's my intro, y'all. I've been working for Rockstar for years, and I've been trying to tell you, but nobody believed me. Jokes aside, though, in scene number two, we can see our first brand new character, and her name is Stephanie. If you take a look at her desk, you can see the name placard right there front and center. Not sure if she is a prison counselor or the warden of the prison, but she is an influential character in the prison. We can also see images in the background of her family. Next up, we see the first of many animals making their debut in GTA 6. The first being a sea turtle. It's kind of hard to see, but if you take a closer look in the water, you can see a sea turtle. We can also see dolphins and sharks as well making their return to Grand Theft Auto 6. Next up, we see an airplane flying a banner high above the sky, and it says Club 919. And what's really cool about this, and a lot of y'all actually let me know this in my live stream, but Club 919 in GTA 6 is an in-game parody of Club 11 that flies around real-life Miami with a banner just like this in the game. The next scene shows us two very cool things, the first being a look at the detailed interiors in the game for the first time. We can see him from a distance you can just see inside some of those buildings which is really neat but number two is this is actually in Brickell Avenue in Miami that's what this area is based off of and if you take a look at the far left side of the screen you'll see a drawbridge guard that goes down so this is actually the real life location of where this is over the Miami River so there is a drawbridge that is not shown but we can see the entrance to it Next up, we get our first look at the Everglades. The first being the airboat that we saw in the 2022 GTA 6 leaks. Very awesome footage of this here, as well as if you take a look at the passenger, the passenger has a gun, so that's pretty cool. Probably just to shoot off some alligators in case they jump on the boat because the next scene shows us six brand new GTA 6 animals that are returning from Red Dead Redemption 2 and other Rockstar games, but the first being a crane, then there are flamingos. If you take a look, there are also ducks, three alligators. In the background, you can see some deer as well as many species of birds that make their appearance in the GTA 6 trailer. Moving on, we have a very vibrant, detailed scene here. Probably one of the best ones out of the whole trailer. Firstly, if you take a look on the left side of the screen, you can see an NPC spraying another with sunscreen. What amazing attention to detail. As well as on the far right side, you can see a creep taking a picture of a woman in a bikini who is bent over. Again, amazing attention to detail. We also see front and center a chihuahua, man. That is so cool cool so one of the many breeds of dogs that we are most definitely going to be seeing in gta 6 and lastly one of the coolest details that can be seen here is sand footprints in the sand are being left as well as the dust from the sand is actually on the feet of all of these guys and gals on this beach so that is a minor detail that has never been seen before in grand theft auto this next scene here details boats racing, but in the background we can see a cargo ship or a freight liner, and this looks to be based on the real-life Brisbane ship out of Hong Kong, or it's currently under the rule of Hong Kong, but the colors are very similar. This isn't confirmed, but just kind of something that I noticed. 
While a lot of fans are speculating that this is Lucia in the foreground here, I don't think that to be the case, but that's not it for this scene. If you actually take a look on the left side, that lit up building is the Casilla Center Arena in Miami, Florida. This is the end game version. So there is an arena confirmed and this happens to be it. We can actually take a look here at the real life location on the highway and compare it and you can see off in the background, there is the arena, super cool. The next scene confirms Wynwood, a detailed art district in Miami, Florida that I have been saying for many years now is going to appear in GTA 6. This was actually leaked back in 2009 on Reddit when a user who worked in the Wynwood district claimed that Rockstar Games had come to his place of employment in Wynwood to scout interiors for Grand Theft Auto 6. That was in October 2019. Next up, we get a detailed look at the inside of a club, but while that's kind of cool in and of itself, what is super cool is if you take a look at this t-shirt that this NPC is wearing, we can see a reference to five cities from previous Grand Theft Auto games. Liberty City, Alderney City, San Fierro, Las Venturas, and the last one is unknown. I couldn't quite make it out, but there's a reference to previous GTA cities on the back of this t-shirt. The next scene shows us two detailed but unnamed characters. In the GTA 6 leaks, there are two characters referenced as Billy and Kai, but this is not confirmed here. But these guys are super detailed, from the grills to the chains to the jewelry, super interesting. I'm guessing they might play some sort of importance in the GTA 6 storyline. Moving on, we have our first look at what might be Starfish Island from GTA Vice City. As you can tell in the background, there are tons of boats in the area, but there's a giant yacht, and beyond that are mansions. So that's what makes me think maybe we're going to see Tommy Versetti's house in there somewhere. Now, there are different GTA universes, meaning that the 3D games and the original Vice City guys cannot appear in GTA 6. But again, if you take a look at those mansions, it looks like that might be Starfish Island. As well as we could see tennis courts, which means side activities are undoubtedly going to be in the game. As well as if you take a look on the left side of the screen, you can see some detailed interiors and balconies, which is cool just to see more and more detailed interiors. Now the next scene here is beautiful. This is Ocean Drive and first and foremost we see a Cheetah Classic, a returning vehicle from GTA 5, detailed by the Cheetah Classic license plate as well as this car has updated interiors. That door jam and door panel are way more detailed than what we have in Grand Theft Auto 5. If you also take a look, we can see a detailed interior in one of the buildings, which is really neat and lit up, as well as our first ever GTA 6. Easter egg. This is the oceanic car that not only appeared in GTA Vice City in the same spot, but also in real life. This is something that is super neat because Rockstar did the same thing in GTA 5 in downtown Los Santos. There is a True Fade Adder that appears in the same spot in front of a business that is actually based on a real life Bugatti Veyron in downtown Los Angeles that appears in the actual real life spot that the game is based on. So it's super cool to see Rockstar bring back an amazing Easter egg there. And lastly, in this scene, we see another animal. We see a guy on the ground begging for some money, begging for some change, or maybe he's just chilling. But on his shoulder, what is chilling is an iguana. Super cool and colorful as well. Next up, we're moving on to the Florida Keys. We see Seven Mile Bridge, and with that, there is the old Seven Mile Bridge, which is a stunt bridge. So the first of many stunt jumps scattered around Los Sant, excuse me, scattered around the state of Leonida and Vice City, of course. As well as, if you take a look way off in the background, you can see what looks to be maybe a hot air balloon. Maybe you're thinking a blimp. Well, you're right. It is the fat. Albert Blimp, a blimp that is used to detect drug smugglers in the waters. So super cool right there. That's a real life blimp. As well as if you take a look on the left side of the screen, we can see some smoke on an island. Undoubtedly, there are going to be many Easter eggs scattered throughout these islands, probably a lot referencing drug runners and, and their skeletons from the 1980s lost in the wilderness. But again, super cool detail right there. Now, moving on, I know what y'all are thinking. Y'all are already looking front and center. Could this be the cover girl? 
girl for Grand Theft Auto 6. Who knows? She is very detailed, very beautiful, and she happens to be sporting a Sacenta Nove bikini top and bottom. And this is based on the Louis Vuitton high quality, high end luxury fashion brand. Now, while y'all are too busy looking at the front there, I noticed in the background there happens to be an unfinished construction building. So who knows? Will this one actually be finished in the game much like the buildings in Red Dead Redemption 2 are? opposed to Grand Theft Auto V and the Mile High Club that has never been finished even 10 years later. This next scene is short, sweet, and to the point, but it shows the Vice sign, and this is actually based on the real-life Miami sign that is outside of the airport. So this is what we're going to see when heading to the airport in GTA 6, and the next few scenes here are actually detailing an in-game parody of either Instagram or TikTok, maybe both. But the first one we see is a sugar daddy looking like Jeff Bezos on a boat there with a bunch of honeys and a couple dudes just partying it up in Vice City. The next scene is actually really cool. This is Poach, and that seems to be an in-game parody of PETA, and we see this animal control poach officer pulling an alligator out of a pool. And if you don't know, in real life Florida, this is a common issue that happens. These gators will go swimming in your pools in your backyard if they are not netted off. Speaking of wild animals, we have a girl twerking on top of a car. This is a trend that happens in the United States that is not very smart, but it does happen, and that's what Rockstar is making fun of there. The next scene, however, is super neat because this is another look at Wynwood in real life, and here we go. This is the location in real life compared to in-game, so super cool to take a look at there from the building on the corner, as well as the paintings on the sidewalks. That confirms that's the exact location of this. As well as if you take a look in the middle of the road, it looks like there is some sort of music video being shot as there is a man with a camera on his shoulder. Super neat. Now, the next scene shows two girls wearing some monochromatic clothing, dancing, super vibrant. But what's interesting is one of the characters or people in the chat by the name of Shanice and this looks to be another confirmed character from the 2022 GTA 6 leaks. There is a scene where Shanice is referenced in regards to Life Invader so maybe she is some sort of popular internet personality. Next up, we've got a super cool scene of an alligator walking into a store. This is something that does happen in real life, Florida. Pretty crazy stuff always going on down there. But if you take a closer look in the background, you can actually see that there's an NPC just chilling on the bed of his truck while he's getting gas. So could this be for the first time in Grand Theft Auto that NPCs get gas and that maybe we can also do this for ourselves in our own vehicles? Next up, we have a police raid. And what's super cool about this is not the raid in and of itself. Yeah, the body cam footage is cool, but there is a sign that says beware of dog and it looks like there's Chop, a picture of Chop on this sign. Now, I'm not gonna say that every dog that looks like Chop is Chop and that this is a reference, but it's just super cool to see and who knows, maybe it's just a subtle nod to our boy Chop. Crazy to think that he'd be over 10 years old now. Next up, we get a look at some police cars, the first of many. There are many different variants that we're going to take a look at here today. The first one being Leonard County. That's what's written on the side of it. And if we take a look at the real-life Boward County, which is based out of Florida, it looks to be based on that. Super neat. As well as, once again, in the background, we can take a look at another NPC filling up their tank in their car with gas. So it looks like this most likely is going to be happening. Super cool. I've always wanted to be able to get gas in Grand Theft Auto. Just such a cool minor detail. Next up, we see a stereotypical redneck getting out. And what's cool about this guy is in true redneck fashion, take a look at his door panel. The pull handle has fallen off and he has used duct tape, which can be used to fix anything to tape up his door panel. What an amazing detail. As well as if you take a look in the top left, we can see a billboard that says people are wanted. Have you seen these bad guys? Wanted for panty sniffing. Pretty hilarious there. As well as the amazing graphics of this game. If you take a look at the reflections of the water on the ground, it's actually reflecting this billboard once again. So pretty cool there. And just in true perverted Rockstar fashion, there is a reference to panty sniffing and perversion. Moving on, we've got just a hilarious scene of this guy chilling, living life, living his best life, free as a bird, watering his grass, as well as you can take a look real quick at his interior 
of his home just through the window. So it looks like there are going to be tons of homes, once again, that are enterable with detailed interiors. According to a GTA 6 leaker, 70% of the interiors in GTA 6 can be accessed. Now, moving on, we see a mud club, the Thrill Billy Mud Club. And firstly, what looks to be Tracy from GTA 5. I'm only joking when I say that because I'm just carrying on a tradition from the original first ever GTA 5 trailer where fans thought that Michael was Tommy Versetti, that this man running from the cops was CJ, and that this hobo was Nico Bellic. And none of those turned out to be true, just like this most likely isn't Tracy, just a bunch of cool rednecks having fun. This location is actually based on a real life mud track in Florida, which is super cool. Here it is in real life. And lastly, if you take a look in the background, there is a flag on the back of a truck that's black that says I. And my guess is that this is a reference to QAnon, as we have seen that referenced in the Shanice clip from the 2022 GTA 6 leaks regarding Life Invader and Jay Norris. Moving on to the next scene, we see a billboard for Emotions, America's favorite disassociative. That is hilarious because it is a common trend in America where everybody is just messed up and depressed. Hey, we're all just trying to cope, y'all, and live our best lives here and get through the day. And it's all good in the hood, even when it ain't. I struggle with mental health myself. I just want to check in with y'all and take a moment out this video to say it always gets better. So we can take a look at this billboard and down in the corner, we see a parody of Pfizer and it looks to be called Fix. As well as if you take a look at the writing and small letters at the bottom of this billboard, it says, call your doctor if your erection lasts for four hours or more. There's a couple other words that are just kind of hard to make out. Next up, we see Lucia wielding some cash. And throughout this trailer, cash is very prevalent, but this is one scene where we can take a really close look at the cash that is seen and shown and see what it says. So it actually says the United States of Paradoia in small letters there. And Paradoia is a Spanish word for paradox, and paradox means ironic. And as we know, Grand Theft Auto is a parody of American culture, so that is just a huge paradox in and of itself right there. And Super cool to actually see what cash in GTA looks like. I wonder whose faces are on the bills. In an earlier scene in the club, you can see some faces, but they are hard to make out and you can't really tell. So moving on next, we get another look at police rides in GTA 6. This crash on the interstate here actually features Florida State Troopers. If you take a look at those Hellcats there or those Dodge Chargers, I forget what they're actually called in GTA. These are based on real life Florida State Troopers. Now, this next scene is super neat we get a detailed look at an NPC all tatted up on the face and this is in Spanish so it's super neat to see that we're gonna get Spanish channels in the game and it says that this Spanish inmate was found guilty and ratted on himself because of a neck tattoo detailing his crimes. So super funny there, and that's what that translates to. As well as in the background, we get a look at the official Vice City seal, that logo there. Super neat to see. I always think those are interesting. We saw them in Los Santos and GTA 5 on the side of police cars, and now to see it in Vice City. This is super cool because it's inspired by the real life state of Florida and Miami seal. Now, next up, this scene confirms Little Haiti. If you take a look in the background there, we can see the Haitian flag being flown. This is an amazing, neat, culturally diverse and rich district from the original GTA Vice City. So it's great to see that borough return. And shout out to any of my Haitian fellow friends and subscribers watching this video. Y'all are amazing and I love you all. So moving on, we see another look at the Vice City police cars based on the real life Miami police cars. Once again, we have seen so many different variants now of police cars in GTA 6, so it's amazing to see how diverse it is. But that's not it. If you take a look in the top of this screen, we can see what I consider to be an Easter egg, referencing Grand Theft Auto 3 and the iconic blue banshee with the white stripe. This car has been in every Grand Theft Auto, and it's been a staple. So much so that Rockstar Games at one point even created this car in real life and gave it away. This next scene here details a battered and beat gritty Port Jellhorn, our first ever look at this city in GTA 6. But if you take a look at the background, there's something pretty funny going on there. There's two stores next to each other. There's the pawn shop 
and gun store. And next to that, there is the gun store and the pawn shop. The pawn and gun and the gun and pawn. Two separate businesses right next to each other. I think that's pretty funny. Now, the next scene actually shows some pretty neat details regarding Jason. If you take a close look at him, he has got ear piercing holes. And as we know from the 2022 GTA 6 leaks, Jason can wear earrings, so that is a pretty neat detail to see. As well as we can see that his beard does not grow on the scars on his face or his chin, as well as the hair not growing on the scars that appear on his eyebrow. Now, this last scene shows some pretty cool things. The first being an in-game parody of White Claw by the name of Thaw at this convenience store. The next being a brand new brand of beer in GTA known as Pendejo. And judging by the logo for this, this is a in-game parody of the real-life Corona beer. And lastly, we're going to end this with an Easter egg. So the GTA 6 theme song is Love is a Long Road by Tom Petty. And we see on the door here a Petty Forever sticker in the colors of the album cover for the GTA 6 theme song. So pretty cool Easter egg there, and what a great way to end the GTA 6 trailer. Guys and gals, these are 75 details that you might have missed in the GTA 6 trailer. I bet you did. I hope y'all enjoyed. Stay tuned. Stick around. We've got more to come. And as always, y'all, have a blessed day.